Welcome back to my YouTube channel, Simply Ezri. This hair won't let me be great. Okay, let's try this again. <laughs> Welcome back to my YouTube channel, Simply Ezri. My name is Ezri, and I am so excited to see you here. In today's video, get to know me. Yes, I'm going to open up myself a little bit. <laughs> A little bit <laughs> and give you guys some insights to who I am I have some questions that I collected here from the internet that I'm gonna be reading off my phone and I also got a really really good question from my Instagram account at simply Esri that I will be answering here as well if you don't already be sure to follow my Instagram account at simply Esri where I interact with you guys on a daily and next time maybe I'll answer one of your questions all right let's get into this not gonna lie kind of nervous because I am actually a really really private person but I think it's helpful to know who it is behind the lens that you're watching so we're gonna do this I'm good I got this actually let me drink some water first because uh... okay Okay, I got this, I got this. <clears throat> First question. Oh, okay, this isn't bad, this isn't bad. All right, where did you grow up? So I grew up in Toronto, Ontario. For those that don't know, I am from Canada. I love my country. So I grew up in Toronto, Ontario in what people would refer to, at least the people that live here, as the West End. Second question, where do you currently live? I still live in Toronto, Ontario. <laughs> I love this city so much. Toronto is my home. It is what I know. I feel the most comfortable here. I have my family here. I have my amazing friends here. I've built a great career here and a business here. I am a Toronto girl at heart. However, I should tell you that there was a period in my life when I did live up north. So for those in Toronto, you'll know what that means when I say live up north. I had moved up north to Sudbury, Ontario, where I went to school at Laurentian University for about six years. I got my double concentration degree in gerontology and sociology, and then I furthered my education by getting a Master of Arts in sociology. So I've had a bit of that, like, I would refer to it as country life because Toronto compared to Sudbury, like, my vision of that is two different things. Um, and I love Sudbury. I met amazing people. I had amazing experiences there. It was definitely a different pace than what's in Toronto. Um, but I loved it. I loved when I was there. At the same time, I'm glad that I'm back. And no, I wouldn't move back up north because it's just not, it's not my vibe, right? So yeah. How tall are you? How tall? You mean how short? <laughs> um, I'm shorty. I'm a shorty. Yeah, baby. Um, I'm actually under 5'5". Five five. I think I'm like, from last time I remember checking, I'm like 5'3 or 5'4". So I'm short. Don't, don't let any pictures you see fool me or fool you, <laughs> let alone fool me. Don't let any pictures of you see fool you. I'm a shorty. Oh, yeah. Uh, dogs or cats? Pardon? Let me read that again. Dogs or cats? Um, I'm not a nun. <laughs> oh my gosh. I hope pet lovers don't hate me. Guys, I'm not an animal person. I like seeing them. So I like seeing dogs. I like seeing cats. I even like being around them sometimes. Um, but I don't have a preference. So for that one, I'm going to say not applicable. Are you in or have you gone to college? Oh, oh good. I kind of answered this already. I went to university. And no, I am not in university. I haven't been for a couple of years. A lot of years. <laughs> um, what is your favorite drink? 
Come on now, for those that know me, you already know what it is, water. I always have water by me, by my side. Like I tell people all the time, how to stay young, how to have energy, drink your water, mind your business, period. <laughs> I swear, I crack myself up, guys. Okay, hold on, let me get it together. Oh, wait, I should tell you, aside from water, my favorite drink is, can you tell my hair is like... It's, it's trying me. It's trying me. Hold on. Let me get this together. Okay. So aside from water, my favorite drink is definitely red wine. Um, and I cannot forget this. Coffee. Coffee is bae. Coffee is necessary. Coffee is what I need, what you need every day. Um, what is your spirit animal and why? Um, okay. These, these are a lot of, these are a lot of animal questions. I don't, I don't know. I never thought about that. What's my spirit animal? Tiger? Roar? <laughs> You're wearing perfume. What scent is it? Oh, okay. Right now, I'm going to say the scent of perfume that I'm wearing is probably something from YSL. I like rich. I like spicy. I like... I love it. I love it. For those that don't know, I'm actually a fragrance fanatic. Tick. I love perfume from day one. Actually, you know what I think I'm going to do? I'm going to try, actually not try, I'm going to um, release a video of my top perfumes. Oh my goodness, I love fragrance so much. So right now I'm going to say, I'm going to go with something along the lines of a YSL fragrance, especially right now uh, we're in the fall season and I tend to wear that fragrance brand more during the season so yeah tea or coffee oh we already answered this you know what it is coffee all day all night every day um <laughs> no but in all seriousness i do drink coffee every single day every single day um in the morning um for those that don't follow me i do uh fasting so i i do intermittent fasting so in the mornings i'll always have a cup of black coffee if I have a second coffee throughout the day, that's when I'll add like a creamer. And I should admit, actually, um, during the cooler seasons in the fall, I start dabbling, dibbling, dabbling, dibbling, dibbling, dabbling um, into tea. Only during the fall. Other than that, I ain't about that life. <laughs> I'm literally, this is fun. I'm not even going to lie. What are your life goals? Hmm. Oh, that's a serious one. Clearly, I didn't read these questions beforehand. Oh, that's a good one. What are my life goals? My life goals are to be happy, uh, to follow the path that God has set out for me. My life goals is to be surrounded by love, family, friends, definitely to be successful in everything that I set my mind out to. My life goal also includes giving back. That's extremely important to me. Um, and it could be to any capacity. It could be to people that I know personally. It could be to my church. It could be to my community, bigger sense of the world. That That is my life goals. Um, and I recognize that what I shared is a bit general. Um, specific life goals. I got a few. <laughs> I'll share them with you in the future for sure. What sports do you play or have you played? Me? I don't play sports. What is that? Sports? Eh? <laughs> um, okay, let's think. In elementary school, I played volleyball. So yeah, that was fun. I'm not going to say I was good at it, but I remember that. But that's so far back, like elementary school. Um... 
I'm not going to say I'm a sports person. I'm more of a gym person. So if you follow my social media, you definitely know this. I love going to the gym. I love lifting weights. I love doing cardio. I like high intensity interval workouts. I've done spin classes. So one more question. I'm going to answer this question. It'll be my last one. And I'm going to answer it before my camera dies on me. And this question was an Instagram question from the user at Mama Goo. And she asked, now that 2020 is almost over, do you have any goals for 2021, both personal and for your business? Thank you so much for your question. I really, really do appreciate it. Um, yes, I definitely have goals for myself for 2021, both personal and for business. I'll start off for business. So for those that don't know, I started my own company this year called Skin Season, and it is a luxury skincare line. And we launched with our foundational body products, and that is the moisturizing body cream and the sugar body scrub. It has done so well so far. I've gotten so many positive comments from people, which is absolutely amazing. One of the best things that I hear is how people like that our products include natural and organic ingredients and that you could get them in different scents and that it doesn't have parabens, sulfates, or any toxic chemicals. So it's part of that clean beauty community. I definitely am looking forward to expanding that brand in 2021 and getting more people to get their hands on this body care line that is so good for their skin health, not only to moisturize it, but also to hydrate your skin, to leave it smooth and luscious feeling. So definitely be on the lookout for that. I will be sharing more information on my company, Skin Season, in the future. So that's what I'm looking forward to for my business in 2021. And for my personal life in 2021, I definitely want to continue feeling peace, joy, uh, to expand my 9 to 5 career. So for those that don't know, I do work 9 to 5 in the healthcare sector. So to continue um, supporting that work that I do and expanding it and supporting the healthcare of Ontarians. So that's an overview of what I'm looking to uh, accomplish in 2021. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video. It was actually really, really fun to do. I didn't think I would have this much fun answering questions. Um, so that was great. Uh, let me know something about yourself in the comment section below. I, I, I want to know, who am, who am I interacting with? Who am I talking with? Um, answer any one of the questions that I shared in the video in the comment section below. If you haven't already, be sure to subscribe to this channel and hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on any new videos. Thank you guys so much for watching and spending your time here with me. Take care and see you soon. Bye.